When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Whoa, okay, well, I want to say something there on that one. I knew, I knew you were going to do this to me. Oh, yeah. Back in business, we can buy lots of booze. Now, let's get the whole, whole row here. I'm not budging on the tables. Spend enough time doing this. <laughs> yeah. Me doing this. Weddings are a grand tradition. Weddings are a bride on a mission. Weddings are a financial expedition. Meet Linda and Graham, just married. Their trip to the altar was a challenge in finding common ground without first sinking into financial quicksand. And at the end of the show, we'll let you in on how much the best day of their lives actually cost. My name is Linda and I'm 25 years old. Two and a half years ago, I met Graham when we were both competing in a dragon boat competition. He was in the lane next to mine and I couldn't take my eyes off of him. I fell in love with his contagious, fun-loving personality, among other things. This is a story of how we planned the best day of our lives. I really had to pinch myself to really take in the fact that this was my wedding day. We really had the fairy tale wedding that I know I always dreamed of and I think that maybe Graham has always dreamed of as oh, well. Oh, definitely. I was just happy that I was marrying the woman that I've always fell in love with. Oh, that's sweet. Aw, as sweet as honey. But let's not sugarcoat how much it costs to make their dream day a reality. Let's take a peek at what really happened. It definitely was a great idea to bring in a wedding planner because she helped to bring in a lot of different ideas that we never would have thought of. And she definitely also helped in keeping us on track in terms of budget. I wouldn't have even been thinking about it otherwise. So. That's right. Meet Jay Wheatley. With 12 years of experience, she was prepared to keep Linda and Graham on track without letting their budget skid off the rails. My role as a wedding planner is to help the clients through the whole wedding process, helping them and their vision come to life, as well as keep them on budget. Tell me a bit about what you envision for your wedding day. Are we looking for something traditional, contemporary? I think, personally, a little bit more contemporary. And I want a little bit more traditional in mine. Okay. Have you looked at any sites at all? We've looked around at a few. Um, I've actually really liked some of the ones that we've seen. Graham? I've been uh, standoffish about a couple that uh, I'm not too sure on yet. Well, you're going to need to come to a decision soon. Do you know where your numbers are at right now? Well, we're looking to have around 120. Have you thought about cake at all? Honestly, uh, a cake to me is just another little side piece in a okay. wedding. So the cake is really a low priority, then obviously it's not going to absorb a lot of your budget. Talk to me about flowers. One of the things that my mother has actually done is she's gone ahead and planted about 150 tulip bulbs that I hope to be able to incorporate into the wedding. It really depends on the weather. Do you have a backup plan? Yeah, we haven't really got to a backup plan. Okay. Yet. No. no. This is going to be contingent on where we actually have the wedding, but decor. One of the things that I would like to have is uh, long tables instead of round tables. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> I would. It's really not a big deal, Graham. Yeah, it's okay. I'm used to round tables at, a, at weddings. I've got ideas for my wedding that I want to keep intact because I know part of my family wants to have some traditional things in there as well. Okay, just to recap, having a traditional wedding is very important to you, Graham. Linda, you'd like to incorporate some contemporary elements. Flowers, cake, very budget conscious about those items. And it's really important that this wedding be a reflection of your personalities. Yes. Does that sound about right? We agree on something. Yeah, I guess I just need to know uh, what your wedding budget is. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Coming up. Cut back to the round tables. I'm not budging on the tables. My daughter baked a cake in the shape of a heart, and she put on Mum and Casey <laughs> and the date. 
And she drew a little boy and girl on it. Did you remember that? <laughs> I got the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you remember it. <laughs> when it comes to spending so much cash on your wedding day, every detail can become a deal breaker. After all, it's I do, and not I don't think so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really not a big deal, Graham. Yeah, it's okay. I'm just used to round tables at, a, at weddings. At the end of the show, we'll reveal the long and the short of how much it costs for Linda and Graham to get their heads around the plans for their big day. The venue itself, you know, had a lot of traditional aspects, so Graham was covered on that side of it. I wanted to still somehow be able to incorporate the more modern, contemporary feel. Yeah. The tables. Of course, you're stuck on rectangular tables, right? Yes. Okay. I'll put this one on here so we have the, the buffet so we can see exactly how it'll look. It yeah, I, I didn't want stark white. I know that. Mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And how much is this? 30. $30 yeah, times how many tables? 18. Then what if we cut back to the round tables? I'm not budging on the tables. So Graham got the venue, so might be nice if Linda got her tables. You're right, Jay. Marriage is all about compromise. You know, it's a matter of give and take. Yeah, you're taking, 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 taking. <laughs> the table and linen meeting today went amazing. They picked the tables, they picked the linen, so it's something we can just cross off the list. That's what you think. I've been going through your floor plan, and I gotta tell you, it's not looking too promising. Like, you're, you're spilling into where you like your dance floor. I'll I just play. wanna be sure. Okay, well, here, let's, let's okay. try it out. It's 16 feet. You can only get a maximum of three rows. Right. And when I calculated it out lengthwise, it just, people are gonna spill over into the next space. Well, what if we actually do spill out past the pillars and just do the dance floor in the conservatory. Yeah, I want to keep the dance floor in with the guests. I really wanted to use Linda, the long table. I really wanted to use the long tables, okay, but they're not going to fit. She wanted to have a nice contemporary look and everything, but on the back side, I was always going round tables, round tables. So now that I got round tables, I'm pretty happy. We decided that our friend Lita would be the best person to make the cake for us. Do you want to do, you know, individual cakes or cupcakes. People always eat the cupcakes. They're easy to handle, yes. you know. You and know. I could make them in different sizes, too. So oh! <laughs> <laughs> really? We should explore that a little bit more, right. maybe. What do you think? I'm used to a, a traditional style cake mm -hmm. all the time, every time I've seen one at right. weddings. I feel pretty comfortable kind of almost leaving it in your hands and surprise us. Oh, OK, well, I want to say something <laughs> there on that one. Uh, Look, i got to see something beforehand as well. i got to have something kind of traditional, because if we just Throw it off to the throw it out to the wind. Um, there's other people in my side that uh, would like some kind of traditional, not just uh, too crazy. Maybe we can do a little bit of both. I kind of like that idea of having both. Yes, I can do cake and cupcakes. The one other stipulation that we have is that we need to put this cake topper here on top of the cake. That topper. is a must. That is unfortunate, or that fortunately. <laughs> a must. It's okay, Linda. It looks just like you. My mom picked out the cake topper. I asked her to pick it up when she was in Scotland last time because uh, it was one thing that I really wanted. I knew that they had the kilt guy and the bride, and I wanted that on top of my cake. My cake? I thought it was supposed to be our cake. I will make your cake special for your day. And you guys are my friends. I can do it for $300. That would That's, be amazing. Yeah. So you should be very happy with that price. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> when we saw that cake table, it was awesome. It had the traditional aspect that Graham was, you know, kind of hoping for. For the little kids, too, that were at the wedding, they loved those cupcakes. I think everybody loved those cupcakes, oh, Graham. Yeah. Everybody. With my parents being professional ballroom dancers, I wanted my first dance with Linda to be exquisite. So we decided to take dance lessons. Simple twinkle to get to the diagonal line. And slow. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. mm -hmm. All right. Mm -mm. OK. OK. And Linda's job's to follow, no matter what he does. But hasn't Graham led enough for one wedding? No, follow it. Follow it. Sure, follow it. Follow it. Yes, that's OK. Start. That's OK. So if he does a promenade, guess what Linda has to do? You have to follow it, because I'm leading. <laughs> I'm leading the whole time. No kidding. So far, our dancing lessons have cost us about $280.
I definitely think it was uh, worth the money at this point. However, we may have to take a few additional private lessons, which will add to the cost, of course. I was all gung-ho about growing my own flowers. I knew that I wanted to use the tulips, so I figured, you know what? With my mom's help, we'll grow them, we'll cut them, because it'll be that time of year, and we'll make our own bouquets. I was thinking that on Friday, on the day of the wedding, that maybe around 8 o'clock, even if, you know, we could, you could come over for just even two hours, we could start assembling the bouquets. I was wondering if maybe you could handle it on your own, because I'm actually so busy that day. I knew, I knew you were going to do this to me. Looks like Linda prefers the hands-off personal touch. Truthfully, yeah. I won't be able to do them on my own. I can actually bring in a freelancer. Um, you'll have to pay for it, but it'll still be very economical. Two, three hundred dollars for, you know, to, to do your arrangements. And right now, it's, it's way too late in the game to go to a florist. Okay, well, I guess I don't have much choice. Okay, so. All right, so. Jade and Rescue! <laughs> I absolutely ordered extra flowers because I wasn't sure how the tulips would work out in the garden. Um, and it's a good thing because we're definitely going to need them. It would still be a lot cheaper than going to a professional florist and it would turn out a lot better than me actually helping out. So I was okay with it. How enough? I already feel the plastic heating up already. First time I asked her to marry me and she said yes. And I said, okay, well, I'm leaving the country for six months, so when I come back... And he gave me a married. ring carved out of a peach pit that I, he says was... I gave uh, her a ring carved out of soapstone that I made with my own two little hands. Peach pit. Which she threw away. <laughs> when you're taking steps towards perfecting your wedding plans, sometimes it can be easier than you think to trip up along the way. And slow. Mm-mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Fine. Okay. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on the steps needed to pull off Graham and Linda's budgetary dance. The day before, I had to go out and buy all the liquor for the wedding. And then when I went to go pay for it all, and that's where I ran into a little bit of trouble with the card. Okay. Yep. Vodka. Yep. Rum. Yep. Scotch. Yep. And gin. Yep. That was it. Okay. We've done the most important. Yeah. There's also beer. Okay, second most important. <laughs> I already feel the plastic heating up already. My card started getting declined. I have to get my transfer of money over to my card so I can get that increased and have money available to me. So I'm in kind of panic mode and stress mode and trying to work everything out and calling managers, calling head office and everything like that and trying to get it smoothed out. Oh yeah. Back in business, we can buy lots of booze. Now let's get the whole whole row here. All right. The night before the wedding, there were still lots of little loose ends to uh, to tie up, so there was some panic. The only thing I was worried about the night before was the dancing. Luckily, your parents were there to guide you through the ABCs of the one, two, threes. I don't want you to grab Linda and to to pull her in like that. Mm -hmm. We'll just stand like that, and that's enough. I want Linda to always think I'm gorgeous, and I want you looking out your window. Okay, so we'll do a grapevine clip. Now, Graham, you're 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 bending forward. I scrunch your marks. When I brought your mother in, okay, we'd be, you know, on our way. Gliding. You can smile, too. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrating too much. People will be happy just to even see you dancing. This is true. Okay, they better be. Yeah. <laughs> Spend enough time doing this. Yeah. Me doing this. That's right. <laughs> the morning of the wedding, I woke up early, had my shower, got ready. After having gotten all our hair done, we tried to relax and calm down a little bit with a little bit of champagne and OJ. It's your big Cheers. day. Cheers. Cheers. But then I was starting to actually panic a little bit about the dance. I just feel like my mind's drawing a blank. <clears throat> oh God, this is so nerve-wracking. Time to call in reinforcements. Hi, Graham. I'm having a little bit of a crisis, a little panic attack. Well, I didn't bring that list of dance steps with me. I'll do it, and then you tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm already drawing a blank. This is terrible. Then we do um, rocked, uh, sorry, promenade pivot, right? All right, well, have fun. Lindsay, did you get all the steps? I got all the steps. I got to practice. You know what? I had them. I knew them. 
What is this? A wedding or a dance recital? This doesn't seem right. There's a reason why people go to florist and they don't have their wedding planner do stuff like this. Ooh. Um, I'm really trying to motor here, and but we do have all the centerpieces done. Yeah, that's a which relief. went fairly quickly, or at least they had to. They had to. Um, this is completely a lot of work, um, and I feel like I, there's other things that I. I should be doing, and this is something that I was very afraid of, is just micromanaging my own time. I mean, having you here, late definitely helps, but uh, it's hard. Like, we'll make all the last minute changes when we are there. Yeah. Looks like you'll have to. It's time to it's go. It's a big day. Gee, it helps. Yes. Yeah. I don't have to do any more planning, no more running around. It's just getting dressed, looking good with my groomsmen in the kilts today, and then heading off to a great time and getting married today to a beautiful woman that I'm very much in love with. And while you relaxed, Graham, Jay was running around getting the day organized. Do you know where the cards are for the wish tree? Yeah, right below the table. Below what table? Right, the gift table? The, front door. the gift table. Thank you. And away I go running again. <laughs> yes. Five minutes to go time, Jay. Let me do this. Let's work on the place cards. Big time, big time, big time place cards. Yep. And then after that, we'll touch up the centerpieces. Yep. Less than an hour to flip this, so. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. If I could change anything today, it would be adding a few more hours to the day, like about 10. <laughs> it was crazy today. I just gotta, uh, I gotta fly. Well, that's one way to keep your wedding planner in shape. Coming up. You want to run off and uh, shag over there? You want to shag now or shag later? You know, when I was standing at the altar, waiting for Sue to come down the aisle, the first thing that came to my mind was, what am I doing here? When it comes to weddings, sometimes budgeting your time is just as important as budgeting your money. If I could change anything today, it would be adding a few more hours to the day, like about 10. After all, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter what you budget, is it ever enough? Soon, we'll show you what Linda and Graham paid for their magic moment in time. It was a very, very, very emotional moment for me. Even just walking down the aisle, I had to try my hardest to keep from crying right there and then. I was getting some nerves going, uh, but I wanted to be strong for her. And when she saw me, I could not stop smiling. My cheeks were hurting for the whole night from smiling so much. If you are free and willing to be married, please demonstrate that desire to me by joining together your right hand. <laughs> Today, I commit to you, as your husband, to laugh with you in joy. And to play as children as we grow old. With this ring, I thee wed. <sighs> well, we're married, babe, for the rest of our lives. I do. Yeah. There's no turning back. No. That's it. That's it. No more dates for you? No more dates for me? Why do you think I was crying? <laughs> I thought it was because you couldn't get enough time to yourselves. You want to run off and uh, shag over there? You want to shag later or shag now or shag later? Ow. <laughs> well, <laughs> considering our track record, we'll probably have to wait a while, so I might as well take the opportunity when yeah. I can get it. Oh. OK. And while Linda and Graham practiced a specialized dance of their own, their guests were wine, dined, and eventually treated to a few dance steps that were a little more traditional to see at a wedding. It does feel a little bit surreal. I can't believe we're married. That's right. <laughs> married. But I'm very happy with how everything went. Love each other a lot. Well, I love her a lot. <laughs> I love you too. I love baby. you. <laughs> yeah, but how much are you going to love the bill? The original budget that we handed to Jay was $30,000.
Lita did a fantastic job on the cake, and that cost us $300. The flowers at the venue look spectacular. Jay did an awesome job, and they cost $1,030. I was absolutely thrilled with the wedding dress. Along with the accessories that I purchased, they cost $1,329. Jay did an amazing job on our wedding. I couldn't have asked for a better wedding planner, and her fee was $3,500. We couldn't have dreamed of having a better venue for our wedding day. The cost of that, along with food and liquor, was $17,000. Additional costs, including limo, photographers, and dance lessons, came to $8,705. What we actually spent on the wedding was $31,864, putting us over our budget by $1,864. But I think every dollar was definitely well spent. The cupcakes were tasty, the drinks knocked back, and Linda and Graham's budget pretty well maintained. The only question left, did Linda and Graham ever get to shag? We didn't marry for life, that's kind of dumb. Um, that, that can get really old. We only married for 100 years. My friend gave me a bachelor party. We played pin the tail on Burt Reynolds. Mark.